Good morning. We got to be careful that we're not in love with this world. Jesus is telling a, uh, having a discussion with the Pharisees in Luke chapter 17, and they're demanding of him, when is the kingdom of God going to come? And in the midst of this discussion, he says, and as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the son of man. They did eat, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise also, as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. He says, you boys aren't going to be real excited when the kingdom of God appears because it's going to appear with the coming of Jesus in judgment. It's going to be like the days of Noah. Life went on as normal and all of a sudden the flood came and destroyed all flesh on the earth. It's going to be like the days of Lot. Things went on like normal until the day that fire and brimstone rained down upon that, those cities, Sodom, Gomorrah, the other cities that were destroyed in that. And so what, what Jesus is telling him is, is he says, look, I want you to think about both of these situations. In both of these situations, a small group of people were removed from the, the situation. Noah and his family were removed in the ark. Lot and his family were removed. And then the cities were destroyed in that Lot's day. The all flesh on the earth that breathed air was destroyed in Noah's day. He says, that's what it's going to be like. Are you ready for it? That's the whole point. Are you ready for it? When the, 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 the coming of the, the kingdom of God comes, when this big kingdom swap takes place, there's going to be destruction and there's going to be judgment. And he says, in that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. And so what Jesus is saying is, he says, look, he says, when you focus on the kingdom of God, you've got to focus on something totally different than this world. If you're working up on top of the house, when the day that this comes, you're not going to be worried about the stuff that's in the house you should be putting your eyes on Jesus. If you've been looking for Jesus when he returns, well, then he's coming to get you. <laughs> but if you haven't been looking for Jesus, if you've been looking at this world, you should remember Lot's wife because what happened to her? Well, she's being delivered. She is in the process of being removed before the fire and brimstone come pouring down upon this. She should have been grateful to God for saving her life. But in her mind, she couldn't conceive of anything better than what she was leaving. And that's going to be the problem for so many people when Jesus returns. Their heart is here in this world. They love this world. They love the things of this world. They love their pleasure. They love their possessions. They love their own person. And Jesus says, look, remember Lot's wife. She looked back. And she was turned into a pillar of salt. Instead of trusting God for what he had for her in the future, the only thing she could do was look back on her past and on her stuff. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. If you try to hang on to this life here and these things here, you're gonna lose it. But if you will do what the Bible says, if you will deny yourself, take up your cross and follow Jesus, you can have the promise of eternity. You can have the promise of a hope in heaven. You can have a pro the promise of an eternal life with Jesus, of new heavens and a new earth wherein dwells righteousness, the Bible says, of a, a, a life where there's no more sin, no more death, no more pain, no more sorrow that Jesus has for us, a new heavens and a new earth. That is what we look forward to. Listen, I, I just want to encourage you, uh, if, if, you're, if you're a follower of Jesus, keep your eyes fixed on Jesus. What he has in store for us is better than anything you could possibly imagine in the here and now. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.